don't know how to make this effect, this generally occurs more often if you're shooting on a low shutter speed or heavy lens speed. Let's roll the intro. Jay, welcome back to the brand new exciting video. If you are new here, this is Divinson here for my channel and I make videos here on YouTube about filmmaking. If you are into that stuff, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss a thing on my channel. I'm gonna share with you today how to fake a camera shaking effect inside that Adobe After Effects. Thank you so much for tuning into this After Effects tutorial. Hold your seats, grab some popcorns. Let's sit back and enjoy my friends. Let's open the Adobe After Effects. Okay, right here I have my intro superhero landing video clip. I'm gonna add a slight shaking effect to this when my foot hits the ground, somewhat here. So then I'm gonna head over to the layer on the top right here and make new adjustment layer. I'm gonna name it camera shake. Once done on the effect and preset, let's find the transform effect. There it is. And I'm gonna grab that into the adjustment layer. And over here you can play with some settings. I'm gonna hold alt and click on the position key. And on the timeline it appears the expression window. I'm gonna type wiggle and open parentheses. And on here I'm gonna add two numbers. It's gonna be number, comma, number and close the parentheses. Okay, the first number represents the speed of the wiggle and the second number is how many times per second. So let's get play around with this. So let's say first number is just 11 and the second number is just 30 and close the parentheses. Let's play the clip. Quite earthquake happening over here. And on the edges we can see some black holes, we are gonna fix it. Let's find the motion tile in effect and preset and drag over to the clip above the transform effect. And on here I am gonna check the mirror edges and let's play with the width and height values. Little bit like this. The black holes already fixed. And here I am gonna turn on this motion blur icon. Let's play it. Yeah, pretty cool. Once done, I'm gonna scrub through the timeline exactly where I want a shaking happens to be, right over here. And I'm gonna split the layer and go a little forward and right over here, split the layer again. Maybe trim a little bit over here. There you go. Let's play it. And this is the easy and simple method to how to fake a camera shaking inside the Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna teach you another method to do this. Let's deep dive into that. I'm gonna drag the same clip right over here into the little composition icon and I'm gonna make a new camera. The camera default settings would be depend on what you want. I'm okay with the 50mm and hit ok. And now if you go change the camera position it won't appear any changes because it's not a 3D layer. So I'm gonna turn on this 3D icon right over here and if you change the position now it will show the every changes. Once done, I'm gonna hit the R on the keyboard and change the orientation. Hold Alt and click on the orientation and type as we did before. Number, comma, number and close the parentheses. Okay, it's kinda okay for me. Okay, let's add new null object about the camera and I'm gonna name it as a controller. Once done, I'm gonna find slider controller over here on the effect preset and grab it to the null object. And then if you change anything over here, nothing will change. But we are going to link this expression to the slider controller. Let's scroll down the camera layer and orientation. On the expression, I'm going to just select the first number and delete it. And then just grab pick whip tool and link right away to the slider controller. Bam! Now if you change the value on slider control, it will show on the screen. So I'm going to scrub through the timeline where exactly I want this to be happen. Somewhat here. And I'm gonna hit on this key on slider controller and then go a little forward and change the values a little bit. And play the footage. It looks slightly okay but let's change the keyframes distance a little bit to look more realistic. And I'm going to start keyframe on the clip and copy the same keyframe here. And on the end as well, I'm gonna add a keyframe value with zero. 
So this shaking will happen only the exact place where we need it to be. And hit F9 key to ease, ease the keyframes. So I'm going to do the same exact process to fill up the black holes, find the motion tile and play with the settings. Okay, let's play it. Okay, let's play the output. There you go, this is how we do camera shaking effects inside Adobe After Effects. And this is pretty much it guys from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share my video. If you have any other questions, please comment down below. I'm gonna wrap it up guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notification icon, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, links in the description below. I'll see you guys on next one. Stay creative, peace.